I will be walking you through how I drew my ampersand using the pen tool in easel. This technique is a great way to digitally reproduce a decorative letter that you've drawn. The drawing that I'm going to reproduce is on the right side of my screen as a reference. I set the measurements down here to millimeters so that the grid is a little bit smaller. This will come in handy later. Choose the pen tool and place a point at the far edges of the curves. So the farthest right, farthest left, and the top and bottom of the curves, as well as any corners. I've marked these points in my drawing as well. Keep in mind that you currently can't add any points once your shape is finished, but you can delete them, so when in doubt, add extra points. Just approximate where you think the points should go. They can be moved later to get them perfect. I have two points at the bottom here because I'll be including a flat spot to help it stand upright a bit better. Close the shape when you get to the end by clicking on the first point again. I'll be drawing these two areas as separate shapes to get the line continuation right. We'll combine them into one shape before we carve. Once all your shapes have been approximately outlined, we need to change them all to curves. Select the shape, click Edit Points, choose the point, and select the curved option. Do this for all your points that need to be on curved lines. Don't worry that it doesn't look right yet, we'll be editing them next. When all points have been made into curves, start moving the points to exactly where they need to be and adjust the curves to match your drawing. To edit both sides of the handles at once, hold down shift while you drag a handle. To make a corner, don't hold down shift and the two sides will move independently of each other. When editing the curves, keep your handles either perfectly straight up and down or perfectly flat left to right as often as possible. Use the background grid to make sure they are aligned correctly. This will give you the smoothest curves and help avoid any funky kinks that can often happen when making vector drawings. Keep adjusting points and curves until you match your drawing. When you're finished, select all the shapes and choose Edit, Combine. You can then resize and rotate to make the most of your material and carve following the remaining instructions.